What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis, we got Cohen back here. This is TWA Motorsports and today uh, we're continuing with the mods on his car. Um, this is one, I think he ordered this, <laughs> no, six months ago I feel like. We haven't even had this car this long. I feel like he ordered this when we bought this car uh, really soon after, but guys, I guess it's a common place. For, who did you order it from? Do you remember the name? RPI. RPI. And if you look up their reviews, it's terrible. Like their their response is terrible. Ah, it, but look, here I'm not gonna complain too much because man, what we bought, it looks really good. And so what he's decided to do is go with the ZR1 style spoiler. These cars look kind of plain in the back, especially after you've seen one with the ZR1 style spoiler. Some of the cars came out with them from the factory. Some of them didn't. I don't know if that was a package you could order, but ultimately he wanted that spoiler. And I have to agree, it's a way better looking spoiler. The factory's just got this little gross looking black plastic piece in the middle. And so this is a full length spoiler. I think guys, what takes so long is you have to paint it to match. And so you gotta wait for them to paint it, but it looks really well painted. The paint match is pretty dead on. And so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna install it. And then he also got some uh, plug wires, which we're gonna hook up. Remember when we did the header install, uh, he's got one laying on the manifold. It's probably burned a little bit by now, but he started with, a, is that a T15 or a T10? T10. 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 On the top side up here, you gotta take your tail lights loose and then we're gonna pull those out and we're gonna kind of let them dangle. So if you pull it out, you can just kind of leave it up against the bumper. If you feel more comfortable um, putting a towel under it, you can. If you're really careful, you shouldn't have to mess with it. You could technically unhook them as well if you wanted to. I don't think it's, you know, I don't think it's necessary. You don't have to. But once we do that, there should be, um, we're gonna have to take all four out, but once we get that out, there's a couple 10 millimeters should be four of them here that you can reach in and get once you get access with the tail light. So what he'll probably do now is grab a 10, get those loose, and uh, we'll get this old piece out of place. And uh, we just kind of set this up here for now. We'll move this out of the way. And um, then we'll move on after we get those 10 millimeters out. They're not super tight. You can see we got the four 10s that hold this thing up. Now I think we should be able to lift this thing up. say you lift on that side stuck on something what the heck you see in the middle oh there's a is that a tab so pull it back as we're going what is that oh yeah can you push down on that I think we should be able to, here, let's go back. There we go. Oh, you already unplugged it. Okay, so here's what needs to happen. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I don't know, we gotta get this third brake light out of here. I wonder if it just, it looks like it just pushes out to be honest with you. Okay. So we just need to push this guy out and we're gonna have to put it in the other. And you can see the plug. I don't, I feel like that should have a little more slack on it. Oh, maybe it, would, maybe it just stuck from years of being in there. All right, so here's the next thing. Um, you, you're gonna have to drill holes, guys. There's no way around it. The ones that have these spoilers from the factory have three more holes. So we're, we're gonna have to drill six holes. Three on this side, three on the other side. But before we do that, we wanna, we wanna try to test fit and make sure everything looks right. Um, we're gonna get some studs installed we have to remove these studs and put them into the new spoiler, but we need to figure out how this light comes out. But it looks to me like it just push, literally pushes out. I think it's just held in there. I don't think there's much to it there. Now I don't have an inverted Torx that small. You can see that. You have to actually unscrew these. If you'll look at this new one, you have to screw them into that there and there. So in order to get it out of here, you do have to take those out. So we'll go ahead, get all four of those out and um, that should be good. So we transferred these inverted torques over, right? 
with the light and the fitment around the lights i don't know that it's necessarily that bad i mean it doesn't fit like stock uh, it's going to be a little loose here you can see but that's going to grab on the inside of that channel that's right here so that's going to pull up nice and snug but what we're going to do is we're going to push that in there just let it fall in there we're going to test fit this thing by using the four bolts that we took out before we go messing with drilling or the next step in this process let's see if we can set it let's see if you can set those four bolts in there are they lining up or somewhat close yeah that'll go there you go there see that's that center grabs and uh, they said not to worry about don't worry about the gap because it'll pull snug once you start to snug these down um, like you can see we've got a little bit of a gap here but I think that they'll and look guys it's it's gonna relax a little bit as it gets some heat on it I think it looks good though definitely looks better so how do we mark the holes right so we can't we obviously can't see the holes well in the instructions it says to go ahead and put uh the, the screws in that come with it which i don't know where i set those do you have those anyway they're sitting over there we're going to go ahead and insert those and then we're going to use some nail polish on the ends of them and so once we do that we're going to set it back into place like this and that will give you the ability to know where the holes need to be drilled if that makes sense we'll take it back off here and you can see these guys here are what it comes with and so what you do is you slide these into place like this. That's as far as it goes, so that's fine. We're going to do that with all six of these, so three on each side. And then what we're going to do is we are going to dab. That one we need to pinch a little bit. It's not tight enough. We're going to pinch it together. Um, so once we do that, we'll put the nail polish on the ends of these. And we're gonna line up our four holes that are factory drilled. And then we will be able to see by placing it on there with nail polish on each one of these where we're, our holes are gonna be. We got all of them in here. And so he's gonna nail polish each one of these ends up. And then we're gonna carefully set it into place here. And just use something bright. We've got some bright pink. Helps if you have a girl at the house. Put a pretty big glob, yeah. You can see he's got it globbed on there. That should probably be enough. We'll, we'll really puddle it up in there. Now that we've got it where it needs to be, let's go ahead and see if we can get it lined up, which is gonna suck. But this gives you an idea here, right? So we'll try to push around, making sure we've got it where it needs to be. All our holes are lined up and they are. And we'll try to lift it up as evenly as possible. Holy cow. Well, three of the holes did really well. I think we can tell where that one was at. See this one? That came in. Well, glob some more on that one. We're gonna double, we're gonna do this side again. All three? Yeah. Yeah, do all. Well, I'll just do the middle two. I hammered on there. One more. There we go. Let's try again. got it I think so let's take a look at what we got see we got the pink marks so now what we're gonna do is we're going to drill a hole which is really nerve-wracking <laughs> it's drilling a car that's in great shape uh, we're gonna have to drill holes uh, there's no way around it and it, the instructions specifically say to drill the holes 
an eighth of an inch bigger than what the bolt size is. And the reason why is you need some ability to move right or left, um, just depending on where that bolt is in that plastic spoiler. So we're gonna go ahead and get our drill out. And we're gonna drill this thing. Let's screw up a car. Here we go. Well, we're committed now. Normally I would put tape on this, but because it's plastic, I don't think we're going to have any issues. Another good news, guys, is if it walks around a little bit, that's okay. So the next thing I'm going to do, I know I didn't drill that last hole. I want to try to line that up one more time and mark those last ones one, once more. I just, I would feel a little better about it if um, we just had a better mark on that outside when they're just pretty inconsistent. I feel way better about that last marking. Now we're, now we're good. I will, I do think I'm gonna have to drill them a little bigger than this. Just because it looks like it needs a little more room to move around. I may, like I said, I may step it up a little bit. We're gonna test it and make sure, but let's grab it and see. Because if you bunch it up on one side, you're gonna have issues with it being all warped looking, never laying down flat like it's supposed to. Is it going in? Yeah, see what I'm talking about? How it's just, it's not willing to sit in there. So we're gonna waller out those holes a little bit more, maybe to the next size up, and then we will test fit again. This time I went with the stepped drill bit just because I have a little more control with it. And uh, I think this is gonna work, guys. Um, we'll test fit it again here. But you wanna, look, don't just slap this thing on here without testing it a couple times. That hole actually didn't look quite as big. Let's give it a shot here. I have to clean the crap out of this thing after we get done. Making a huge mess. All right, there's that. Now it's the center that doesn't want to fit. Oh, one of our screws walked. slowly start and start to put these on right so reaching up in here and using your supplied you have your new ones and it says specifically not to tighten the outside ones first I'm just putting them on so we're gonna put the four middle ones in first and then we'll work our way out so we got the middle ones tight and I went ahead and put all three of the ones on this side so we just got to put the three inners in on the other side and we're going to start snugging it down. We're going to snug it down by hand, okay? Don't over tighten this, guys. It's just plastic. And you'll notice that we have some variance in the fitment. But guys, look, it, it won't, it's not going to set perfect. I really think it's going to need some sun to, I mean, it ships in a box. And who knows how long it sets in a box before it's painted. And then who knows how long it sets in a, uh, in a box once it's shipped to you. You know what I mean? So I think as it relaxes over time, um, it'll look a little better. 
and honestly white is a little less forgiving than some of your other colors you know a black you may not notice the gap as much but it's still not bad it fits pretty decent i think it fits just pretty much as good as a factory one i don't know where they source these from but um i don't think it looks bad and we've had it on and off a couple times making the holes just a little bit bigger um guys look do not over tighten this you will snap this thing so quickly it's just plastic i'm just putting my 10 millimeter socket in there and i'm doing it by hand um, i think if you get too aggressive you're going to snap either the plastic on the spoiler or you could potentially come through or distort the bumper so just be careful um, i i think it fits okay uh, I don't think it, it's not like a perfect fit, but it's pretty dang close. So he's buttoning up, putting the lights back in. But guys, look, I mean, the gap, if you look really close, you can see like right here. But that's nothing to do with, I don't know. I just, I, we loosened it up several times and tightened it. The front leading edge looks the best so far. Like you got a little bit right here. Um... I think though, I really think once it gets some heat on it, it'll relax a little bit. Um, maybe not a ton, but guys, I don't honestly remember. My ZR1 had this spoiler on it to begin with, and um, it may fit just as bad. <laughs> and I just never noticed because it was blue. You know, on white, you're gonna see those gaps a little bit more, but I think it looks way better. What's your take? Do you think it looks better? Yeah. Was it worth a wait for four months or whatever it was? I don't know if it's worth that. I don't even know, guys, if you can get this from GM. You may still be able to get it from GM, but I guarantee it doesn't come painted. You know, the good thing about, like, where he ordered it from, they paint it to match. And the paint match is pretty solid. It's, it's pretty close. Um, I don't think you get it any closer taking it to a body shop. There's probably 50 alternates of this white. But all in all, that looks good. We're going to move to under the hood next and uh, finish up with the new plug wires. Okay, on to the plug wires. He's taking the valve covers off hey do you have to take this how do you, how's this one come off that i think it hooks underneath that there you go all right i don't remember which one i think it's on his side it was touching um let's do this let's put that back on so nothing screws up yeah it's definitely on his side but is that one not coming off i don't want to bring it um, okay i think they hook on the bottom oh it just needs to come around that here hold on Back in the day, GTOs would wear a hole in that. This is the one that's touching right here. Let's pull that one off and look at it. See how bad it is. That's not terrible. You can see a burn mark right there. That's not bad. So, do you need to keep these? I generally keep these and put them on the new ones. But let's go over here and look at these. The MSD wires have a bendable end. Actually, we've got to get them out of there first. But once we get them out, I'll show them to you. So on these, I wouldn't even mess with those. You can label them if you want. I don't ever use those. These right here, see the ends? You can bend them so they can face a different direction. So what I generally like to do is if you put your little boot on and then put it on the car, listen for it to snap and you can bend it just a little bit. And now we're not touching, you can see We're on. And we had enough bend there to stay away from the header now so it's not setting on it. So all in all, looks pretty good. So we just got seven more of these to do. All right, we got this one on kind of crooked. He's working on that side, I'm working on this side. I like to face them a certain way, guys. You see how they're kind of turned? I don't know, it's just the OCD in me. Let me turn that one a little bit. I don't love the way, but see how they're kind of 
that's the way I like to put them on. It doesn't really matter, but anyway, we got one side complete. I always like to start it up before we put the fuel rail covers back on too. He's, and we are reusing the boots. Pretty positive snap. You can hear that. I always get mad when like a car drives by, like a loud car when I'm putting these on because you can't, sometimes you're listening for it and you can't hear it. But uh, he's gonna fire it up and then we'll make sure that no misfires or anything. We'll look down here, look for any sparks going crazy. Because sometimes if you don't get them on all the way, it'll spark in some different spots or misfire. Not a big deal. Uh, you just got to make sure that they're seated correctly. But then I think, guys, we'll put the fuel rail covers back on and we will be done with these two little things that we wanted to do or he wanted to do. Let's fire this sucker up. You got the key out. These are good. Go up to like 2,000 RPM, maybe. Okay. Let's do it again. All right. That's it, guys. We just all we got to do now is just put the fuel rail covers back on, which suck on that side, but yeah. All right. Got those fuel rail covers back on. Got a big bug right there. Gross. And. Uh, I'm not sure what he's doing. Are you turning it around? What are you doing? Oh, okay. Anyway, guys, um, I think the spoiler looks quite a bit better. But, um, let's get it out here in the light. Definitely looks better. Probably gonna run nines now with those new MSD plugs. <laughs> what do you think? It's gonna, it's gonna be fast, isn't it? Yep. We are completely finished. New plug wires, new spoiler. It's coming together, little by little. Like I said, only took six months to get that. The plug wires were kind of a necessity with the headers because, well, obviously it was touching, guys. And, and it hadn't hurt it really bad. I figured it'd be a, a lot worse than that. So those headers must be pretty decent at keeping heat down or maybe he's just not ripping on it very much there it is he's not ripping on it anyway so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video it's relatively quick when i know um it's kind of nervy drilling into the back of such a really nice car uh at least it made me a little bit nervous like i said if a guy had to drill all those holes and you didn't have the alignment holes i think that would be even worse but anyway guys if you did enjoy this video please like always smash that thumbs up button what else do they need to do cam Hit that bell icon. Hit. And what else? Stay tuned to see what we work on next. Stay tuned to see what we work on next. <laughs>